Thank you. My name is uh, Dr. Gus Reyes. I serve as the director of the Texas Baptist Christian Life Commission. Um, we serve 5,200 Baptist churches across the state, congregations, missions that include African American, Hispanic, and other groups across this country, uh, this state. Uh, let me begin by saying that uh, I, I, I want to make sure you know I appreciate the patience around this table toward uh, the witnesses and what you've been hearing. And I also agree that we want a secure border. Uh, we want violent criminals, cartel members, human traffickers uh, rounded up and deported. We, we, we all want that as best as I understand. But I am concerned about SB4 as written. It, it's just too broad, uh, which leads me to oppose SB4 because of what I would refer to as unintended consequences. One of those is the fact that we fuel fear in the immigrant community, whether you're documented or not, and we fuel fear with just many citizens, period, um, who uh, might be afraid to, to get on the road. Uh, you know, immigrants might be afraid, or others of us might be afraid to get on the road just to be stopped. Um, but, you know, so we, we might want, want, want to go to a hospital or, or take our kids to school or go to the groceries. And so all of a sudden, we have these unintended consequences that, that seem to stem from the ambiguity or, or the broadness of the bill. And so I just want to make sure we point that out. The other thing is that when you include police officers employed by private and public universities in this bill, uh, that, that affects our, our kids who are going to college and, and that they need, they need to prove uh, their citizenship at all times. I need to tell you, I have two kids, they'll have their proof of citizenship. I have one, no way. <laughs> Some of you have students and children as well, and you know how difficult it is for them just to keep their phones or and what have you. So I, I think it becomes a, a, a distractor. We want them in school to focus on education and not anything else. And so I, I, in, in closing, I do want to say that finally it does impact our ability to minister to folks. We don't ask for papers when we have food banks and we help them uh, with certain services. This gets in the way of that. It becomes an obstacle to ministry. And I just want to encourage you to, to think clearly. And please know we're praying for your wisdom on this matter. God bless you. Dr. Rez, thank you. Thank you for praying for us. And thank you for the work at Texas Baptist.